would you return to Formula One, Sebastian Vettel, if you had the right car? You shocked everybody when you said, right, I'm, I'm done now. Thanks very much. Uh, I'm going to retire. Thanks. It's been a great ride and uh, all the best. And everybody went, what? And I remember the day unfolding when there was almost a rumour floating around that you were making your announcement and you did and all the drivers and everybody. No, it seemed to come completely out of the blue. Now, I would imagine a decision like that is huge. It's so important to make. What was it a huge did you really think about this for a long time or did you just think time time to wrap it up? I think it was the first time in 2019 that I had a thought crossing my mind uh, basically, you know, the kids saying why do you go? Don't go to the race, stay home. And you're like, "Oh, I don't want to go. I don't want to travel now." In a typical season, what's the longest that you would be away from from home from your family so i calculate how many hours a year i'm spending in the plane right. um, without you know get without getting to the airport without checking in waiting da 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 but it was one month straight wow and then you do simulator and then that's another 20 to 30 days a year right and then you do your races and then you do your testing and then you do your promotional activities so you know the actual time inside the car is quite little compared to all the other stuff going on. Yeah. Um, but yeah, of course it is. Of course, I you know I loved it. It was it is a great life. Um, but it's it's with all the things. It's never as flashy as it uh, as they look from the outside when you just see that little bit, the tip of the iceberg. Um, Bernie Collins, formerly Aston Martin. Yeah. Has said recently that you could return. In her opinion, you could return to F1 if, in her words, he had the right car. Could you return to Formula One, Sebastian Vettel, if you had the right car? Well, big announcement <laughs> you're looking for. Um, <laughs> of course, you know, the better the car, the better the team, uh, the more exciting it is in terms of being, you know, having the prospect of being successful. But like I just said, you know, it is obviously, uh, you know, um, I'm following the sport. I see what's going on. Uh, and it might be appealing and interesting, um, but it really, you know, depends on the full package because it is a big commitment as well. Like I just said, with all the other stuff going on outside the driving activity. So um, to seriously consider, I think, uh, you know, it would very much, of course, depend on the on the package. From an age point of view, I feel bloody young with all the, you know, <laughs> guys that I raced with, uh, you know, still hanging around yeah. and signing big contract, staying around for longer. I have it. It seems like it looks like I have it. I could have another ten years in the sport. So, um, but I'm definitely, uh, you know, ahead of them, ahead of them in terms of uh, keeping fit and energized um, with a with the right drink uh, in the bottle in case I I return. Radio X, the Chris Moyle Show.